Uh, I'd like to call on Marcus now, uh, who I think has got quite a few words he wants to say to you, but thank you very much for being involved in this session. Thank you, uh, Jonathan and the chairman and all the panelists. Uh, we said we give half an hour to the reporting of the various initiatives we have, so we have basically 10 minutes left, but I have asked to see with the interpreters whether they would kindly do some overtime, maybe add another 15 minutes. I know I have the representative of Switzerland who would like to report on his uh, European initiative on internet government, please. Come to the microphone. Do you want to come up forward and do it from here? The panelists, of course, can go back to their seat and sit comfortably. Thomas. Thank you. Um, actually, it's not my initiative. The good thing about our initiative is that it's not owned by uh, any particular entity. Um, <coughs> this initiative that, uh, that uh, I'm talking about is something that emerged in the last few months uh, in Europe. And basically, since Athens, there were discussions whether or not, and if so, how to organize a discussion on Internet governance on European level. But uh, until June 2008, nothing concrete showed up, so that at the ICANN meeting in Paris in 2008, uh, a group of people sitting there having a beer in Paris realized that if we don't do anything, nothing on European level is going to happen this year. <coughs> And this group of people were a few government representatives, a few business people, a few people from civil society. We set this together. We were calling us something, I even forget the name, organizing committee. We were looking for a name for an event. And uh, Wolfgang Kleinwächter had the beautiful idea to call this Eurodic, Euro European Dialogue on Internet Governance. Uh, we decided to fix the date in October. And we started the thing without any structure, without any resources. <coughs> uh, and uh, we were very happy that the Council of Europe uh, offered to uh, give us uh, his premises in Strasbourg at our, uh, at our disposal and joined the team uh, very actively in order to make to this event possible. <coughs> we, we, uh, uh, after the summer break, we developed a program that was based on, on the, the points to be discussed in Hyderabad, but we tried to focus on the European perspectives, not with the aim of having a, a good agreed uh, uh, principles or something, but something that would reflect European approaches and also the diversity of the European approaches. In the center of that was the notion of fostering security, privacy and openness on the same time. That means not only go for maximum of security or maximum of openness, but to increase quality of life of which all those three elements are a part of. Um, the interesting thing about this event was that three months time to organize it and we had no resources, but the thing more or less spread by itself. And when the event was held in October in Strasbourg, we had uh, almost 150 participants from Spain up to uh, uh, Iceland, down to Turkey, from all uh, uh, stakeholders. And it was a very interactive dialogue. We also tried some new formats. We tried to go even further than the IGF. We were trying to avoid uh, panel discussions and putting the speakers in the public and test whether and how it was possible to have kind of a most interactive uh, uh, discussion with uh, diverse uh, success. Um, the outcome of that event was, uh, we wanted to have an outcome in a written form, but we didn't have the time to negotiate, we didn't want to negotiate, so we called this messages from Strasbourg, they are available on the website eurodic.org, and it's messages that the organizers uh, uh, played the role of editors in saying that these are the messages that we have heard. doesn't mean that these are the only messages. They can even contradict each other. This was kind of the way we tried to come up with something that you can uh, uh, have in your hands. And we also had participation from, from the European Commission and the European Parliament, which also are, 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 are planning to, 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 to uh, get more active in, in this issue. And we have there was a, me a meeting at the European Parliament in November where uh, people met from, uh, and, and decided to, 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 to uh, uh, go on together and try to do things uh, together the next year to reinforce this uh, European initiative. Thank you.